Hey everyone, welcome back to Wrath of Math. In today's video, we'll be going over how to convert radians to degrees. It can seem a little daunting when you suddenly got to keep track of two different units for angle measures, but I think it's a lot easier to be comfortable with them when you're comfortable converting between them. To that end, I already have a video lesson converting degrees to radians, and today we'll finish it up by converting radians to degrees. So let's get right into it. We'll see what the formula is and we'll see why it is what it is. All we need to be able to convert radians into degrees is an equality between radians and degrees. And to get an equality between those two units, circles work very nicely. How many radians are in a circle? You may or may not remember that there are two pi radians in a circle. So we can write that right up here. We'll write two pi radians. Then, how many degrees are in a circle? Well, I'm sure you remember that, just 360 of them. There are 360 degrees in a circle. So, since there are 360 degrees in a circle and two pi radians in a circle, we know that these two angle measures must be equal. So, we can write that two pi radians is equal to 360 degrees because both of these angle measures are that of a whole circle, so we know they're equal. Then, if we want to be able to convert from radians to degrees, all we need to do is solve this equation for one radian. So basically, we want to get this radian unit by itself. So thinking back to our algebra skills, if we want to change two pi radians to just one radian, all we have to do is divide by two pi. But we also want to keep this equality true, so we'll have to divide this side by two pi as well. So what we have on the left side of the equation is two pi radians divided by two pi, and on the right side of the equation, we have 360 degrees divided by two pi. 2 pi radians divided by 2 pi, what's that? Well, the 2 pi's cancel out, we're just left with 1 radian. So on the left side, we have 1 radian. And what's that equal to? Well, over here, we have 360 degrees over 2 pi. 360 divided by 2, I know that's just 180. So this is equal to 180 degrees divided by pi. And we could write this slightly differently. Instead of 180 degrees over pi, I'm going to write 180 over pi degrees. So really, this is it. This is the conversion from radians to degrees. So whatever number of radians you have that you want to turn into degrees, all you have to do is multiply both sides of this equation by that number. So, for example, let's say that we have an angle of pi radians, which looks like this. And we want to convert pi radians into degrees. All we have to do is multiply both sides of this equation by pi. So on the left side, one radian times pi, of course, that's pi radians, just like we want. And then on the right side, we have 180 over pi degrees. Multiplying this by pi is going to cancel out with that pi in the denominator, which is just going to leave us with 180 degrees. And so there we have the conversion. Pi radians is equal to 180 degrees. And again, all we had to do to convert pi radians into degrees is multiply both sides of this equation by pi. On the left, we multiply by pi, which gives us pi times one radians, that's pi radians. And then on the right, we multiply by pi, which cancels out with that pi in the denominator, leaving us with 180 degrees. So that's all there is to it. Whatever number of radians you have, multiply both sides of this equation by that number, and you'll have the equality you're looking for. You'll have that number of radians you're concerned with, and the number of degrees that it's equal to. Now, before we go, I'm just going to write this equality in a slightly different way that might seem more intuitive to some of you. So let me scroll on down a little bit. Here's that equality we had above, one radians equal to 180 over pi degrees. We could rewrite this equation as x radians equals 180 times x over pi degrees. And this is really just what I was saying before. If you want to convert x radians into degrees, you multiply this side by x, which gives you x radians, and you multiply this side by x, which gives you 180x over pi degrees. And I think some people might prefer it written this way. So, for example, what about one half of a radian? What's that equal to in degrees? 
Well, we know that that is equal to 180 multiplied by 1 half divided by pi degrees. And then this is equal to 180 times a half is 90, so 90 over pi degrees. So that's all there is to it. I hope this video helped you understand how to convert from radians to degrees. If you want to learn about converting in the other direction, you can actually use this same equation. You just have to do a little bit of work to get there. I also have a lesson, just like this one, on converting in the other direction. So one last time, if you want to convert x radians into degrees, it's just equal to 180 times x over pi degrees. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet. And a big thanks to Valo, who, upon my request, kindly gave me permission to use his music in my math lessons. Link to his music in the description.